Welcome back to Sequestered Signing Week 7, Day 1. This week's theme is objects. So you're going to learn a bunch of different types of objects for you to use in your sentences. So let's get started. Remember, after you're done with the video, I do have a practice prompt for you to use so you can really obviously practice what you've learned <laughs> so it stays in your brain, which is what we want it to stay, right? <laughs> and not on the floor. Oh, gone. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. All right, so in today, so we're doing objects, so today we're going to be doing more uh, bigger objects that you find around your home. Okay. First sign is table. So table is with both hands in the flat B hand shape, but your non-dominant hand down first and your dominant hand on top like this, like your I dream of Dini. You may be too young to understand that, but you <laughs> tap your hands, your arms together two times. Table. Table. So you're showing the top of the table. Table. That's it. All right, the next sign is chair. Chair is done with both hands in the U hand shape. Put your non-dominant hand down first and you're gonna tap with your dominant hand twice. Chair. So this is kind of like your legs as if they were gonna sit. Obviously they're not swinging down like you're actually sitting. They're just, you're just tapping your bum to the chair. <laughs> chair, and you do this twice. Because remember, we talked about this a while ago during the live version of sequestered signing. Um, I can't remember which week it was. But when you, oh, week three when we did actions. Because remember, sit is one time, okay? Chair is two times. Chair is twice because you could knock on it because it's a physical object, right? Chair is two times. Sit is one time, all right? Now the next one is couch. So the next one, couch is a combination of sit and showing the object, okay? So you're gonna go sit. So instead of doing chair for twice, you're gonna go sit. And now your hands are in this C hand shape and you're gonna bring them together in front of your body and you're gonna pull out and you're showing the shape of your couch. Now, sometimes, you know, people have like, uh, what are they called? gosh what are those called you know where they psh, psh, they come off like that whatever we used to have one of those whatever you you know what I mean where it's like the short end of the couch and the long end of the couch that they're joined right so you you technically you could say oh I have this kind of a couch using your hand shapes but if you're just doing the sign for couch you just go boom and draw the shape okay chair across but since it's a combination sign you're just doing the sit version the one time you're not gonna go chair couch like that you just do one time and then draw or trace the shape of a couch okay the next one is TV TV is the letters T and B and you repeat it like that boom 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 so you're flicking up your V's okay TV just flick them up twice, boom, boom, TV. So you're gonna wanna practice, just get in your T, keep these fingers loose, right? And flick up, down, flick up, down, all right? Now don't worry so much about what shape this T is in, but just have the hair, flick it up, bring it down, flick it up again, okay? And that's TV, is in television. All right, the next sign is light, okay? So you're gonna have your eight hand shape here, palm facing in, and you're going to, oh, this is choking me, sorry. <laughs> you're gonna flick your chin here twice. Light, light. This is like light as in lamp or light as in the light in your ceiling. Light, okay, light bulb kind of thing. So you're just flicking your chin twice, light. Now, 
The next one is door. So your hands are in this B hand shape, okay? Palms are out, bring them together so they're like two doors side by side, right? So your dominant hand is the one that's making the movement, all right? So I'm right-handed, so my dominant hand is gonna go open, 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 open. So I'm, you know how door hinges, doors hinge open, right? They don't come open like this. So if I'm, I'm going, I'm not going open, open like this, I'm hinging it here. So this is the part that's like in the wall, right? And this is the part that opens. Like if I had a little handle here, it'd be like, turn it me like that. Okay. <laughs> door. So you do it twice because it's an object, right? Door, door. And you're opening it towards your body. You're not opening it out. Gosh, that hurt my wrist. Opening it towards your body twice. Okay. Now the nice thing about door is you can show open the door. Okay. So if you have a door that you want open, you open the door, close the door. Okay. So if you wanted somebody, Hey, close the door. You just go close the door, please. Right. Or open the door, please. And you can do it like that. Okay. So door just singular talking about the object is twice and it's not a full open and close. It's just a little bit like you're peeking in, peeking in. <laughs> okay. All right, the next one is window. So you're gonna have the same hand shapes, but it's gonna be a different palm orientation, all right? So your hands are facing you this time and they're horizontal. Your non-dominant hand is on the bottom and your dominant hand is on top. So if you're left-handed, it'd be like this, and if you're right-handed, it looks like this. And you're going to open, close your window. Open, close your window. Boom, boom. Just like we did for door here, we're doing doo doo. We're not fully opening our window. We're just going peek, peek, right? Window. Now again, just like with door open and door close, you could do open the window, close the window. So do you see the difference of the movement is bigger, okay? And the movement is twice and smaller window, okay? All right, next sign is mirror. A lot of houses have mirrors, <laughs> okay? So you have your five hand shape facing you and you shake it at yourself, so mirror. Mirror. Now, if you wanted to talk about a, a mirror, you can do the shape of it like mirror, like, oh, I've got this huge mirror on the wall. You know, you use your classifiers to show, you know, maybe it's just this little thing here, this circle on the wall. I've got a bunch of circle of mirrors on the wall. You can show it using different classifiers, different hand shapes, okay? Um, or just sign mirror like that. So mirror, but if you want to specify the shape and size and location of it, you do that with your hand shapes after you sign it, mirror. All right, toilet. Or, and you also use this for the, say in the room bathroom. Um, it's your T hand shape and you shake it side to side. Like I'm, it's like this, right? Toilet, toilet or potty, <laughs> or your bathroom, okay? So if you're in a public place and you wanna know where the bathroom is, you just go like this. Even though you are saying toilet, it's still for bathroom, okay? All right, last sign, clock. All right, so you, let me move my sleeve out of the way. So you time, you sign the sign for time. So that's your S hand shape for your wrist. So it's just really, you're showing your, where your wrist is, where your watch is and your dominant hand is in the one hand shape and you tap on your wrist, time, and then you're gonna show clocks are typically on the wall, right? So you're gonna have, you're gonna make this C hand shape with just your index and your thumb, index fingers and your thumb like this. So you're making this circle kind of thing, but it's not joined together, it's just out here. So you're gonna go time, boom, and put it on this, you're putting it on an imaginary wall off to your non-dominant side. So it's kind of at an angle. I'm not like fully on my non-dominant side. I'm at this kind of 45 degree angle here. So time, boom. So even if you wanna say, oh, it's this big rectangular clock or whatever, you say clock 
and then you can show the shape of your clock, okay? Um, or do that or show a different shape. But for a regular clock, let's not make it confusing, Rochelle. Time, boom, circle, time. Boom. So if you're left-handed, it would be time, circle, clock, all right? Pretty easy, right? So head to the practice prompts for today so you can practice, get the list of all the vocabulary you learned and get some practice um, thing activities for you to do to really kind of make them stick. And they're at my Instagram account, ASL Rochelle. So I'll see you there. And remember, they're all labeled the same. It'll be um, pink. It'll say week seven, day one signs. And you're ready to go. All right, I will see you on week seven, day two, where we'll learn some more objects. Bye.